Okay. Sebastian drew a deep breath of fresh air. Leave it. A magnificent moon shone brightly upon him. Echoes of birds and other wildlife could be heard in the distance. Plucking up courage and energy to venture on, Sebastian took his first step. I don't know. Some would argue that I've been taking steps this entire time. Or I'm floating. But it depends on uh, your perspective, I guess. This is a tiny, tiny door. Oh, slug bug. Or no, that's not a slug bug. What am I thinking? That's just an old timey uh, Dick Tracy car. Or like, I don't know. Alright. Oh! Oh! I'm not gonna shoot you. I wouldn't dare. Nice, friendly, friendly deer like you. That tree, on the other hand, has some very suspicious looking uh, fungus. Oh my goodness. That creature on the other hand seems to be hostile. Is he? I can't tell. I'm gonna say yes. I'm gonna have to put you down girl. Oh, I'm sorry Baloo. Oh, I'm so sorry. I love bears. Bears are awesome. More more bullet power. I'm going to reload. I don't think I've done that enough. Or maybe I should just continue not to ever reload and then I'll figure out how many bullets are in the clip. Maybe that's an idea I could do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't run this show. I'm just an actor on it. Alright. Hobo garbage. All right, so this is right or left. We're gonna try left, I guess. We're gonna stick with the uh, follow the lamp posts. Now the problem with the bears are he didn't seem to have any sounds associated with him, nor did he um, have very bright neon lights around his neck. If only we could. Maybe lace some of his food with uh, ecstasy. We can get him some uh, glow sticks and he'll just, you know. Alright, there's it. Is this the. I can either go up there or down there. I'm gonna check this out real quick. Check it out real quick. Oh, the rabbit! Caught on a fence. Still can't go in the tiny house. Alright, that's fine. Alright, so let's double check up where we were, which was here. It looks kind of graveyard-esque gate. What's, what's this? Desks. Perform sacrifice? On what? <gasps> oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me I'm going to have to... Oops. That was a misfire. I don't want to have to sacrifice something. Don't tell me I'm going to have to sacrifice. Okay. Three rabbit skins required. Alright. Alright. I don't want to do this, but apparently the game is forcing me to be Elmer Fudd. Of course he's not there. Why would he still be there? For convenience sake. Hey, bud. You don't know where any, uh, rabbits went, do you? Okay. I guess... Are you my guide? Alright. Keep following the path, I suppose. And I'll probably run into another rabbit sooner or later. Until I've run out of new landmarks, I'm not gonna stress the bunny killing. Another well. Uh-oh. Alright, there's a little well. Little gate section. More gates. More ammo. They are very generous with this ammo and the med packs. It's gotta be said. 
so at least there's that. Where am I going? Where am I going now? Alright, I'm I'm getting off the beaten path. I should stick to Alright, here's a path, and I'll follow this. And immediately there's a crossroads. I'm gonna go left, because right leads back to the uh, burial, not burial altar, the sacrificial cult place. Okay, am I gonna start going around in circles here? Yep, alright. Hey! Oh god! Oh, Foxy! Aww, poor Fox. I'm sorry, I saw you from a mile away. Whoa! <laughs> oh, the magical rabbit just kicked me in the air. Alright, one skin. You can't sneak up on me, Foxy. Sorry. Oh, God! As I immediately get stalked by another one. I guess they don't like that I'm taking their uh, their food sources. How do we only have one rabbit skin? There was did I not collect that s second one in time? Oh god! Don't tell me I have to get three of everything. Okay, I'm gonna get. Oh god. Now I see why they give you so much ammo. Oh! Round two! I can fly! Boom. So what was that? Was that another rabbit? It seems like the rabbits are the ones that have the ability to do that. Alright. Where did that bear go? Okay. So I'm pretty sure I have enough fox pelts, as long as they're all in threes. Um, I wish I knew about this, and I would have gotten all those bears I killed earlier as well. I think I only got one rabbit one. Alright, so altar's up here. Altar's up here, okay. Now let's see, probably each table has a different one. These are three rabbits. Three stags. See, I need to kill the stags as well. And they don't even fight back. And one bear. Alright, so the bears are rare. Bear be rare. What's my health at? 80? That's not too bad. So, what dictates the spawn rates around here? Because I could really use... Uh oh. Something's on me. I don't know what, but something's on me. There's a stag. Sorry, guy. I didn't want to do that. I remember, there were bunnies over here as well. I just need to keep my eyes open for little old jackrabbits. Oh god, what's that? I don't think I've seen this building before. Oh, another stag. Sorry, bud. That is the most horrible, horrible sound there could ever be. Oh god. Another sort of, uh... Ritual building, I guess? Okay. Well, oh. Okay, I activated the bad dudes. This is not good. This is not good at all. Luckily, this thing's like a semi-automatic though. Let's see if we can get a good look at one of their bodies disappearing. Okay, maybe that guy wasn't a great example. Oh god. What's that? Hi bunny! Oh, 
Oh god, the emergency broadcasting system. Which way do I gotta be facing? Oh god! Hey, cool it! Take it easy. Okay, so... I think I need... What do I need? So one stag... Two rabbits... So I need one stag, one bear, one rabbit. One beer, one gin, one whiskey. Or however the hell that song goes. Okay, so we need to remember where this is. And from the start of where that tree fell down, it's just to the left over there. Okay. For bears. I did, however, come across this thing and felt the need to leave it in just in case there's anything going on at the top of this who knows maybe the bear we actually need is going to be at the top of here just you know chilling out having like a coffee it can happen it's a video game don't don't deny my dreams of having a tea party with a cool little bear man all right sound is starting to pick up already as we enter the top floor is this going to be a usable lantern? Alright, this is going to activate something. When the four have risen, salvation lies with those who seek a blood-colored light. Okay. See, now we have the... The... Do we always have the quest stuff on the upper left? We have a fox skin. We have all the stag skins. We have all the rabbit skins. We just need that friggin' bear skin, man. Oh, God. They are getting more erratic. At least nine bullets per clip. This is a good thing. Okay. Twelve bolts per clip. That's even better. That's even better. All right, where are we going now? I don't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of laying in the sidelines looking for any inkling that there's a bear nearby. What's this? Another little pillar. Is there any kind of road nearby that I can hop on? I want to try and stay next to the roads because, I don't know, it seems so far the roads have attracted these beasts oh god what's happening here oh is that something all right let's see what this does it's gonna bring a lot of things to us can we burn anything in here can we rest no all right campsite completely useless all right we seem to have found ourselves another building this fire was already going when I got here um, I'm assuming in here is gonna be more uh, activ activation points for those creepy red people so I'm not gonna spend too too long I'm starting to get a little frustrated with this whole bear situation I've seen multiple stags and rabbits and all kinds of stuff. Hey, bud. They are getting faster. They're getting wilier as well. But I seem to have them in a pretty good frame trap. That a that kind of looks like a uh, a cavern. Maybe there's something down there I can uh, check out. Okay, guys, I'm back. I finally have everything I need to perform the sacrifices. I think I'm a little bit worse for wear, as you can see. My health is at 42, but the important thing is I believe I have everything for the sacrifice. Three stags. And a little statue man comes up. That's awesome. Three rabbits. 
Each one gets a little man. Two foxes. And one big bad bear. Okay. I performed the sacrifice. Now, give me a portal to go home. To Candyland or something like that. What's gonna happen? Oh, God. Okay. I don't think that tower was there before. Are we gonna run into some red guys? Along the way? God, I hope not. God, I hope not. Okay. Here we go. Oh. Is this... Is this an invisible wall? Sebastian was finally oh. free from the forest. The surrounding trees that were masked with darkness seemed to tear at his soul. But now, free of its clutches, he pressed onward, wondering what lay ahead. He rushed over oh Sebastian, God. for in front of him stood a majestic church. Was this the safety that he desired? Um, With a rush no. And sweeping through his body, he ventured forth towards the church. I don't think a big old graveyardy church is going to soothe anyone. Find the church key. Oh, gee, I wonder where it's going to be. Probably buried in a friggin' grave or something. You watch. I'm calling it right now. In a grave, in a dead dude's mouth. What the hell? That's a kind of creepy statue. It's gotta be said. Oh god, oh god, I regret this decision of coming into the bush. Oh god, I can't get out. Okay. It's probably gonna be in the last place I look. Keep your eyes open for... Anything. It's probably gonna be like... In one of these cracks or something. What's all this smoke? Where do you think it would be in those graves? Oh! Why can you push those over? That seems weird. There we go. That seems super weird to me though. I'm pretty sure... You're not supposed to do that. Alright. Let's see what the church holds for us. Some leaves. It's clearly autumn. It's fairly roomy in here, actually. I'd say it almost looks a lot bigger from the inside. So what do we got? Okay. What was that? Is that a new enemy type? Should I read the book? Um, doesn't really say anything too important. Okay. Let's check out left. Some little library, some candles. book. Anything important on these shelves? I don't want to leave a stone unturned. Okay. Something is definitely going on with the sound. Oh, we can make a little sandwich with a very dirty butter knife. Or we can take a nap. Romans 8-6 for to set the mind on the flesh is death, but to set the mind on the spirit is life and peace. Sure. Ugh. Bath bucket. Oh, you had a little pot for making stew, though. It's not bad. Some people have it a lot worse. Another piss bucket. Okay. So... What am I supposed to do in here? coming in here did that unlock s something like that gate outside possibly nothing over here watch as soon as I go to leave 
it's gonna get super quiet. I guess. It's getting a little creepy. Okay, called it. Gate is open. Gate is open. What do we got? Chosen one, come. I know that you have a gun. This is not the way. Leave your weapon here and the door will open. Do we want to though? What if we just leave like most of the ammo? I don't know if this is a trick. Okay, maybe it's like, okay, if you have enough ammo, you can place the ammo and then it will... I don't know. Let's... let's... put the ammo first. That does nothing. Okay. Alright. In we go. As Sebastian entered the room, the power to his flashlight died, and the door which he Perfect. just entered slammed shut. Oh no. Our story is almost at its close. But from one last section. For you see, this is the section of the tale where a legend was born. Nice. A legend of myth and horror. And one that has spawned many tales over the decades. So when did we get kidnapped? This is how it goes. Seemingly paralyzed in the darkness as he swiftly moved his eyes back and forth, trying to see something, anything. Abruptly, without warning, his flashlight burst back to life. He stood in an empty room. On the other side of the room stood a lonesome door. Okay. Well, there aren't many options in this room. Ooh, I like the piano. Okay, we need proper lighting. If we're gonna be reading any uh, notes. I don't know what's real anymore. It's like the world I used to know is gone. Maybe forever. The pain is too much to bear. Please make it stop. I beg of you. I beg of you. That's kind of weird. Two little middle feet. Hey, what's this about? Oh. Um. Why would that be a thing? What would that ev even done? Okay, I guess that was the secret. That's fine. I would have thought it'd been something cool, like a book. Oh god, so this is the kids' room. But it's different. Oh, nice. My master will know a way. He always has an answer. I must do what he asks if I am to get rid of his this pain. Yes, this is the only way. Okay, he's super, super delusional. Why can't I use my binoculars anymore? I want to see the crappy kids po posters. It's not good to put candles on your bed, by the way. Whoa. Thought I heard something. I must be crazy. Uh, looks like a little smoke is happening. Smoky smoke. Oh god. Okay. So that's not creepy at all. Anything in here? Nope. I guess we'll read the note. If I must, I must. I will do as he asks. I will sacrifice in his name. If this is his command, I will abide. Maybe then he will bless me and rid me of this pain. Sorry about that little hiccup. Alright. Continue. Don't worry about that. Something is wrong. My body hurts so much. I did, probably shouldn't have listened to the evilness, bro. That's that whole thing. It's like, no matter what, if you deal with evil dudes... You know, like, if you go to a magic shop... Oh, here we go. Do we remember this puzzle? Do we have to? Okay, let's... Let's, let's see. It was... The bull and the lion fight each other. Look. Pegasus is looking at the horse. The horse is supposed to be looking at the lion. So... What was it before that? What was it before that? I guess it would have been... Everything... 
rotated one. Yeah, sure. Okay. Whoa. Alright. We're in the Satan hallway. Oh, that's a good effect. That's a super good effect. I like it. I like it a lot. Would've been cooler if I had the binoculars, though. Oh, great. One last Skyrim. Now watch. I'm just gonna turn out that I'm gonna break my only pick and then I'm never gonna be able to get into the door you know I'm, I'm joking when I say that but okay I'm nervous what is up Okay, we got another one. It's fine. Oh, we're close. That's it. I'm a noob. Oh, boy. Yeah, you know what? I would tr probably want to lock the doors to this place with something a little better than standard door locks. Did anyone not think of that? Oh, God. Saving. Yep, he's coming. See ya, sucker. Oh, God. And then, darkness. Did I do it in time? The disappearance of Sebastian has confused his hometown of Sterling. I guess and has not. has an imprint in the hearts and souls of its residents. More so, upon his family. For many years, countless numbers of people have tried searching for evidence of Sebastian's whereabouts, all turning up empty-handed. Sebastian, however, is but a lingering memory. For now, a darker entity lives, an entity that resides in the corner of darkness, waiting for light of day to fade so it can strike upon its victim. Naked and butt pray, pig man. It is not you. Very nice. Alright. Well, I guess that was the uh, end of Kidnapped. I gotta say, I have no idea what the story was about. I don't know. Maybe I phased out while the guy was narrating during the beginning of each chapter, but none of it really seemed to make too much sense to me. I mean, I understand the bit with the Satan room and how that could possibly lead to, you know, him meeting some other guy and then, like, I don't, I don't know. I don't I hope know. you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I have been Nibbles. This has been Midnight Madness, and we just played Kidnapped. I will see you guys next time.